Why, hello, you sultry little Trotskyites. So uh, today we're gonna be doing something that everybody should be doing and should know how to do, but it's not very well documented in the manual and it's, and it's something uh, that, 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 that you basically all need. And I'm talking about headlight adjustment, goddammit. Uh, very often you got one point up to the sky, one point out to, to, to making porn for deer on the side of the road. I don't know what you people are doing. Super easy to adjust and uh, I'm gonna show you how. Get on it, do it. This is a fun one for you to get out there and figure your van a little bit. Oh, okay, your headlights have uh, two basic adjustments. One is for um, up and down, vertical. The other is for side to side, horizontal. Uh, the horizontal pretty rarely needs adjusted, but the vertical seems like it does often. And anytime you replace a bulb, you tend to disturb it. So I'm gonna go in there. On your van, these are two hand done thumb screws with a Phillips screw in the middle. On this one, they happen to be one's had some stuff done. 10 millimeter bolts, and there'll be another 10 millimeter bolt in here. This panel, just pull on it, and it'll come up. I call this the upper toenail panel. They call it the headlight cover, I don't know, headlight bucket cover or something like that. You can see it's hinged at the back. It hooks in there, and it clips down, and it screws in. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to find. Now, I'm gonna move the camera because the excitement is over here. The sum of this is there's an Allen adjustment that goes straight down here through this here hole. And uh, that's how this thing is done. You'll see. Okay, you little turds. Here you got your five and a half millimeter Allen. There was probably uh, an English cross, but whatever. See this here hole straight down into this hole. And I can see, I'm going to move the camera again, but I can see what it's getting received into. All right. A little difficult to illustrate, but you see this white plastic cup here. You can see that as I come down this hole, that goes, it's gonna be difficult to focus, Let's see and talk, but that is received down in there, and then you could turn clockwise or counterclockwise. Pretty straightforward. Okay, this is the van with the light on. As you can see, I have my thing here, and you can see on the wall, we're pointing probably, you might not be able to tell, but roughly right in the middle of that wooden beam. And as I turn this, let's go clockwise and see what she does should be able to see this thing move. Now oh, it's so bright, you can't see, there you go. The, the problem with this, well, not the problem, but both the high beam and the low beam move together. So as I'm tightening this, this should either start to come down or go up. You can see it moving. Yes, I see it right there. I don't know if you can see, but I can see the shadow going up. So clockwise is up, let's go down. Let's turn on the high beams and see if that makes it any visually more interesting. Uh, I bet it does. Oh, the camera's going kind of blowing it out. All right, counterclockwise here should be dropping this down. Now, where to put it? That's up to you. I can see it coming down. At least I can see the high beam coming down quite well. Yeah, and so can you. Um, where to put it, that's up to you. Uh, you Obviously, you'll find the sweet spot. The problem with having them too high up off the road like this is that they're going to illuminate snow and rain and look like warp drive and screw you up your brains. And obviously, having them too high is just going to point, or having them way too low is going to, uh, all you're going to see is the road. You're not going to see that deer coming at you or those children in that uh, pram. All right. So that is the vertical adjustment. Pretty simple. Our horizontal adjustment is equally simple. Um, I've removed the 10 millimeter screw here and this panel will just come out and what you see re revealed below it. All right, with the panel off, here's what's below it. And this particular headlight bucket is broken. There'll be a, a piece here, a piece here that is a, another 10 millimeter goes into and that holds it at the bottom. But it's a good illustration of how this actually works. So this, hopefully I can show you, is a two stage fastener. See the knurled section in there? As I go here and I turn this, if I can turn it, you can turn the two independently. I wish I was a better way to show you this. You can turn the two independently. So as this threads in, if you imagine, if that threads in, it's gonna tip the whole headlight this way. And as it threads out, it's gonna tip the whole headlight this way, pointing it out. So that's your horizontal adjustment. Very rare that you need to do this because they're just, they point forward. What would they do? Point cross-eyed? Point Google-eyed? Why would you want that? But I suppose if you've had damage or something. But you can turn the outside of this independently of the inside is the basic gist of it. And then when you're done, these 
Just push into those receivers there. Comes around the front where the bolt grabs it. Give it a slam. Brr, and you are done. And that, my little, my little freaks, is how you adjust the goddamn headlights in your goddamn ProMaster. He's a goddamn lovely man.